Namaste, yogis. Thanks so much for joining me for this yoga flow here. So bring your hands to the tops of your knees or your thighs, whatever feels comfortable. Bringing your eyes to a close, start to draw in all of your awareness and all of your attention right now to this very moment. Loosen up the head, the neck, get comfy, and try to relax. I know it's not always the easiest thing. Us yoga teachers often say, just relax, but some of us have and live pretty busy lives. So relaxing can be a really hard thing to do. So start by taking some neck rolls, gentle neck rolls. Starting with the right side or the left going nice and slow taking your time here no rush coming back to center and then going in the opposite direction so inhale as your head moves towards the back of the body and exhale as you come forward Continuing here for a few more moments. Deep breath. Bringing the chin close down and towards the chest. Relaxing the back of the neck. Leaving and opening some space for the back of the neck there. So breathing into that area. Letting go of any tension you're holding there and continuing to breathe. Letting any thoughts that arise and try to take you away from this moment, just let them fall away like dust. Bringing the head back up onto your shoulders, reaching out the right arm. And with the left arm, bring that up and over. So it's parallel to your ear, keeping that hip, both hips glued down to the mat. Walking the hands to the center and then over to the opposite side and then bringing that other arm up and over the head. Deep breath here and then stretch to the side body. couple more breaths and then bringing both arms down to the mat to the middle relaxing the upper back drawing the arms out nice and long in front of you and then making your way over to the other side deep breath here Coming back through center and then walking yourself back up to a seated position. And then we'll make our way to an all fours or tabletop position. And then so from here, the knees are directly below the hips and the hands are underneath the shoulders. Start to wag the tail back and forth, rocking the hips and then gazing over to the right side. So kind of making like a C shape. And then we'll take some cat cows here. So inhale as you come up and exhale as you tuck the tail, tuck the tummy. Inhale, arch the spine, exhale. Looking over to the left side and then to the right, same thing here, C shape. And then back to center. And then taking a child's pose here in Balasana. Deep breath, relax the belly, relax the face, any tension in between the eyebrows that you have going on here. And let the arms be heavy on the mat. 
few more deep breaths here, letting that exhale draw out a little bit longer than the inhale. And then rising back up to all fours, we'll reach the right leg back behind. So this is kind of like a, a runner's lunge with one knee on the mat. So you'll be um, on the backs of your toes there, and pressing out through that heel. So you should really feel a nice stretch in the back of the leg. Reach out the opposite arm out in front of you, nice and long. Feel the stretch from the back of that heel all the way through your fingertips. Draw it in on an inhale, exhale, extend. Inhale, draw it in, exhale, extend. Inhale, hug it in, exhale, extend. Awesome. Keep reaching and then bring both back down to the mat. Rocking out the hips from side to side. And then we'll take the other side. So left foot back, coming onto the balls of the foot. Runner's lunge here, reaching out the right arm out in front of you, nice and long. Draw it in on an inhale, exhale out. Inhale in, exhale out. Inhale in, exhale. We're working the abdominals here. So a couple more times. Nice, bring it back down. Okay, rocking the hips from side to side again. Nice to keep the hips nice and loose here. Propping back into downward facing dog here. Keeping the spine nice and long. Keeping the hips elevated and then walking out the dog. The arms are straight as well. Shoulders are you know, giving you some space for your head and your neck. The fingers are spread wide. Index fingers pointed straight ahead. And if your heels can't touch, that's okay. Walking up to forward fold now. This is a deep, deep bend here. So inhale, rising all the way up. Bringing the hands to the heart. And as you exhale, coming all the way down. Grabbing opposite elbows, shaking the head, being really heavy, the upper body. Walking over to the right side, over to the left, to the center, side to side, kind of just feeling into it. Good. Coming back to center, grounding the feet. Reaching the arms up behind you, resting on the low back, and then inhale, lifting the hands away from the body, reaching towards the ceiling perhaps, or maybe over the shoulders. Whatever you can do here is great. And then breathing into the upper back. Deep breaths. Let the hands wash down the sides of the legs on an exhale. Coming back into forward bend, inhale halfway up, flat back, exhale fold, inhale rising all the way up, hands to heart, keeping the hands up overhead, exhale as you come all the way down, let it all hang heavy, inhale halfway up, exhale, come back into a plank position, lower all the way down, inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Good. Back to down dog. Walking it out. Keeping the spine pretty straight here. Lifting those hips high. Deep breaths. Relaxing the head, relaxing the neck. You got this. Walking it out. Don't underestimate the down dog. It's a great stretch. So coming up into forward fold once again. Inhale halfway up, exhale, release. Shake it out. Inhale all the way up, hands overhead. Exhale, coming down. Inhale halfway up. Exhale to plank, chaturanga. So reaching out through the back toes. Inhale, coming up into cobra. 
So in Cobra, we have the thighs on the mat. In Upward Facing Dog, the thighs are lifted. So pressing yourself back into child's pose. Let's take a little rest here. Relaxing the head. And then pressing back into Downward Facing Dog. Not too much of a rest. Just a nice little one. But feel free to stay there if that feels really good to you. So inhale to the tippy toes. And bring them back down. Inhale, walking. The right leg up to the sky. Bend the right knee if that feels good to you. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, bring that right foot in between the hands. Great, so low lunge here. And then we'll pivot that back foot at a 60 degree angle for warrior one, rising up. Strong warrior arms here. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Extend that front leg as we fold over for pyramid. Deep breaths here, serious stretch for the hamstrings. It's great. So tucking that hip back, that right hip back as so the left one draws forward. Bend the knee again, rising up for warrior one. You got this. Drop the shoulders. Strong arms, leaving some space. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, kick that leg up. Bring it back down. Walk it out. Inhale, opposite leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Bring it through. Knee to nose. Bring it back up. Bend it again. Open the hip. Knee to nose. Inhale up. Open hip. Exhale, close in. Inhale, press back. And then draw it all the way through in between the hands. Setting up for warrior one, opposite side. Bring the arms up. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. You got this. Good job. I know you're rocking it at home. Straighten that front leg for pyramid, folding over that front leg. So pressing the hip back of that straightened leg as the opposite, as the opposite hip moves forward. So energetic here, subtle movement, but it is a good cue to listen to. So another breath, rising back up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat. Both legs back, reaching that leg up to the sky first, bend the hip, or bend the knee, sorry. Walk it out, walk the dog out. Walking the feet up to the hands, forward fold, shake out the legs, let the head be heavy, relax. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, fold. Deep breath, where's your focus? Where are you holding? Inhale, halfway up again. Exhale, release. Inhale, all the way up. The arms reach up overhead. Bring the hands to heart. Find your balance here in mountain pose. Dropping the tailbone down. Bring the arms up overhead again. Deep breath in. And exhale. Over to the right side. Over to the left. And then folding forward once again. Inhale halfway up. Exhale fold. Come back into plank. Take a breath before you lower. Drawing the elbows into the ribs. We'll lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Great, press back into down dog. Awesome. Walk it out a little bit if that feels good for you. Reaching that left leg up to the sky, bend the knee, draw the knee to nose, kick it back again. Few more cycles of this here. 
Great, bring it in between the hands. And then we'll set up here for wide legged forward fold. So drawing the toes in slightly, pressing the hips back, but not too far back. You should be able to find the perfect um, posture here for yourself and your body. So however deep stretch, stretch you want in the hips, that'll determine how far your legs are, your feet are apart. So relaxing into this posture here, feeling an opening Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Great, exhale, fold. Walking over to one side, bending the knee, and the other foot, the toes are flexed towards the ceiling. And then walking over to the opposite side, and once again, drawing those toes towards the ceiling. And then coming back to wide-legged, pigeon-toeing the feet again, pressing the hips back, deep breaths. And then walking over to that left foot, reaching up and over for warrior two. So reaching through the fingertips here, from fingertip to fingertip in warrior two. The knees directly above the ankle, then we'll reach back for reverse warrior. And then side angle on your exhale, the arm is coming up and over parallel to the ear. Back to warrior two, straighten the leg. This is triangle pose. So you notice how I tucked my hip in there so I could fold a little bit more over that hip, that front hip. And I'm reaching up nice and long with the arm on top. So coming back to warrior two, place the hands on the mat, kicking that left leg up, drop it down, exhale. Walk it out. Walking the hands all the way up to the, or walking the feet all the way up to the hands. Forward fold here. So inhale to flat back, exhale fold. Inhale, chair pose. So sink the hips, engage the core as if you're sitting in an invisible chair, reaching the arms up nice and long by the sides of the ears, reaching through the fingertips, strong arms here. Exhale to release that pose, straightening the knees as much as possible. Again, forward fold. Chair pose is a strong pose. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, draw it all the way up all the breath you can, bring the hands all the way down again, forward, up, halfway up, coming back into plank, inhale, exhale, lower down, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, down dog, walk it out for a second here, inhale, that right leg up, bend the knee, open up the hip, Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, knee to nose. A couple more times. If it feels good, leave that hip open with that knee bent. <clears throat> then drawing that foot all the way in between the hands. We'll take the other side. So walking in between the feet, and I'll switch around so I'm not um, showing you my booty. And so yeah, we're folding over again. Walking over to one side, bending that knee completely, getting down low to the ground. Flexing the toes up towards the ceiling. Walking over to the other side, same thing, lift the toes. Get a nice stretch to the back of the leg there, and the front of the thigh. Walking back through the center, Folding over, slightly tucking that navel in, coming up halfway, exhale, fold. Good, keep taking a few breaths, then walking over to that right side, 
lifting up her warrior two. The ankle is, or the knee is right above the ankle. Then inhale, reverse it. Exhale, side angle. Great, you can lower down that arm for a, an additional um, stretch here. And then coming back up into warrior two. Reaching that leg nice and straight. Coming down for triangle. So trying to keep um, nice alignment here is key. So rising back up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, kick that right leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick it up. The opening of the knee. Walk it out. Coming down into a puppy pose. So reaching those arms out nice and long, setting the hips high. So, you know, child's pose would be, the butt would be down on the mat. So the butt's lifted here, but it's similar to child's pose. Okay, adjusting, making any adjustments that feel good. You can separate the knees like a little bit farther than the hips. That's also an option here. It's good to keep options. few more deep breaths. And then coming back up into all fours. We'll press into downward facing dog, lifting the left leg up, bend the knee, draw it in between the hands. Great. And so this is lizard pose. We want to reach that left arm up to the sky, bring it back down. We'll do it again here, lifting the left arm up, bring it down. Walking that left foot over to the right side, setting up for pigeon pose. So pigeon is my favorite hip opener. It's always, it always feels good. And it always will look different depending on your body type, depending on how your, your bones are. So knowing that, feel good about your pigeon pose. And resting maybe your head, your forehead on the fist. However, however it feels good here. We hold a lot of stuff in the hips, so always take your time in pigeon. Start to rise up, drawing that leg back behind you. Coming into downward facing dog, lifting the opposite leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip, draw it in between. Drawing that right arm out, or on the inside of the foot, reaching it up to the sky, letting that right knee fall open. Bring the hand back down on the inside of the foot. Lift it up one more time to the ceiling. A big smile on your face. Drawing that right foot over to the left side. We'll set up here, set the hips up so they're squaring the front of the mat and then lower down when you feel like you're in your pigeon pose. Taking some serious breaths here, sending that exhale to the hips, to the forehead, to the eyes, to wherever you feel like you're holding on to stuff or is feeling discomfort. See if you can send a little relaxing, joyful yogi breath. And if it's too much for you, you can always use props here in Pigeon Pose. You can always use something to place under that elevated hip. So coming back up, bringing that foot or that knee over to the opposite side, stacking the knees here. So this is cow face legs, basically. So stacking the knees, all right, and walking out in front of you, folding over. 
Walking the hands over to one side, extending, walking back through middle, and then to the other side. This is also an intense posture for the hips, but I'm but believe me, it feels really good. And if it's uncomfortable right now, don't do it. Just do child's pose. Okay, switching legs, we'll do the opposite side. So once again, walking out the hands out in front of you. And then over to one side. And over to the opposite side. And then walking the hands back up. Adjust the legs, draw everything in, hug the knees into the chest and start to roll up and down until you are all the way on your back. Awesome. Spread the legs apart. Relax the shoulders down. You have done so much today so far. You are doing an awesome job. You showed up on your mat and now you can seriously relax for a minute. So once again, come back to your breath. Just take inventory here. Are your breaths shallow? Are they deep? Is your heart beating fast? Send some calming waves of peaceful energy, of love, of bliss throughout your whole body, knowing you deserve it, knowing you've earned it, and knowing that your body is free to relax right now, free to let go, free to just be still. Arms are melting into the mat. The shoulders have melted. The legs feel like bricks. Just letting it all go. Letting it all be heavy. And as soon as any thoughts arise, imagine them as clouds as if you're laying on the grass on a sunny day. You can see clouds above you. These are your thoughts. Just watch them. Watch them move. Watch them sway. Watch them make shapes and interesting forms. But nothing Nothing pulls you away. And I invite you to take a few more moments here if you need in Shavasana. Take a few more minutes here. Take a half hour. This is honestly the best part of any yoga class. The reward, the sweetness, that moment you get to just be. So don't ever take it for granted. Don't ever try to rush through Shavasana. Thank you for joining me in this lovely practice. I hope that you enjoyed it and you can watch it over and over again whenever it's needed. Have a wonderful, peaceful day. Namaste.